What's going on guys? This is EFN here from Broken Boxes Yu-Gi-Oh! Coming to you for our day two. Uh, sorry I was a little bit uh, tired. I had work yesterday, kind of exhausted, so I couldn't follow up with Ultima here. Uh, and his obscene three tin pools. Now we only bought half the case between the two of us. Nothing drastic for these, you know, buy singles when you can. But he pulled two Dragoons and two Extravagants out of here. So I'm not really expecting anything too, too crazy. I mean, Mascarina would be nice. Opelosa, Boral, um, Mystic Mine. There's a lot of good pulls in these tins. I'm not complaining. So hoping we get some of that key stuff. A um, little upset that there was no real upgrades to some of the things I wanted. I mean, yeah, I got, what, an Ultra and then... No, sorry, two Prismatic Secret Kenyi uh, for this set. So let's get started here. Try and get something good. I'm going to just crack through these tins real quick so we can get all the packs laid out on the table. Yeah. Ultimate in the background here. Just a fun fact. The other thing was the same thing I complained about before, which was uh, we would have liked to have seen the Unchained hollowed out, but they didn't do that. Yeah, there was a lot of things that they really missed an opportunity on. Like promos, for instance. That would have been a great idea for this tin set. Yeah. But we don't work at R&D economy. We can only just, you know, complain here at Broken Boxes. So we're going to get started here with the first packs. And I'll, I'll agree with this because I've seen, like, Team Samurai X1's openings. I'm going to say this. I agree with Sam. Why was Hero Crusader not made shiny and bump down the common what what's going on konami what are you doing yeah there, there's got to be some sort of plan with some of this stuff so let's go through here we're not really too worried about the commons uh first one infinitrack trencher nightmare incarnation italy and crackdown good secret pool um kind of jumped ahead there uh that was one of the upgrades i was interested in successor soul and unchained soul of rage they should have just downgraded all those um just so my secrets could be of some use and value. But it's cool. Unchained has actually seen some play recently online, so I'm not too upset that they did the reprints, making it a lot easier for some of these other non-competitive players to get their hands on stuff. All right, and first one, Cerziol. Let's see where we got after him. Rinse a Seahorse after that. Destiny Hero Dominance, not too happy about that. Uh, it could have been better. Psychic Wielder, a little nice downgrade, and Harvester. So, like I said, not expecting anything too, too spectacular from this. But, hey, you never know. Pack luck can be ridiculous. Uh, the other day, I bought 13 packs of Rise Loose. Crash for Creation, Valkyrie Erda. Ah, Abomination Secret, that's nice. I'm happy I pulled that. Storm Dragon's Return, Evil Eye Defeat. And crap shell. I had like thirty of those cap shells. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not gonna I was lie. Over pulling those. Yeah, we're not gonna lie on this. We, we can confirm he was EFM was basically pulling one out of every special edition he opened. Every special edition, every box. It was literally just cap shell, cap shell, cap shell. I started collecting them just for the laugh of it. All right, runs a seahorse creation. Ooh, Monstrosity, another one of the upgrades I was hoping for. I need three of these. I'm a generator player. I'm a degenerate player, so it's what it is. Uh, Ruru, a little sad that got a downgrade. I was much more preferenced to the secret, but it is what it is. Yeah, in general, the Evil Eye and Witchcrafter stuff could have just been downgraded. Yeah, they could have made all that comments. There was so much more room for improvement on other things, but I'm sure some people are happy. Uh, Valkyrie, Erda, eh, Dances with Beasts, and Romulus. That's a, actually a decent secret uh, upgrade. Happy up with that. Fusion Destiny and Abomination Prison. So it's nice. A lot of people get to play the casual for the um, Unchained. Unchained, yeah. <laughs> I own the deck and I keep forgetting about it. That's because it's just sitting in my pile of stuff at this point. All right, let's keep going here. Let's hope for an Apollosa or an IP. That's what the end goal is on this. Overload X charge. Probably another dominance because I just kind of seen the purple evil eye repose. And another dominance. Yay. Ooh. Yeah. Pottery. And a get out. Oof. Light 
pack crimping. You can kind of see it on my end. I don't know if they can get it on camera, but yeah. So as I said, going to be disappointed with these tins. It was kind of expected after that monstrosity my man Ultima got the other day. I'm a beast. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Uh, I got a secret for the uh, for a link. Let's see, Apollosa and another Romulus and a slicer and witchcrafter. Uh, uh, two Romulus. Well, you'll have your Romulus for your dragons. Uh, I already had a bunch of them. Come on, at least an right. IP or an Apollosa. Give me something here, Serzio. It's a secret trap. Seahorse, another crackdown. All right, so we're getting a lot of crackdown. Five Street. Uh, oh, there, there's our slight upgrade to barricade board blocker. Yeah. Freaking rare upgrade. Ooh, Konami, what are you doing? Konami's being bad on some of these upgrades. All right. Creation, last pack, and Draco Master. Okay, so I do have Tenny. That'll be cool in there, but. Yeah, garbage facts. As called, as predicted. We couldn't top that last video, so it's what it is. It would have been nice to have back-to-back -back decent pools, but I'm not going to complain. Um, two Crackdown, two Romulus, one Monstrosity, the Abomination. Like, there were some decent pools. I wouldn't say it really was worth the three tens. I could have just bought the singles on these, obviously. But, um... Thanks for joining us, guys. Hopefully next time we'll have something a little bit uh, nicer for you, a little bit more broken. Thanks for joining.